Hello and welcome to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are doing something a little bit different. This is another video for the owners and the managers out there, the folks that do the hiring. Let me set the stage. Over the last six months, maybe a year, you have noticed that your staff is overworked. They are overworked enough that some costly mistakes are being made. Your overtime hours are creeping up. Scheduling is difficult. Staff are fighting over vacation time. And employee morale is just plain suffering. I don't like my job and uh, I don't think I'm gonna go anymore. So you run an ad and you hire a new person. Now, whether that new person is a seasoned veteran of the industry or a new to the business greenhorn, you have just made a bad situation even worse. You just admitted that your staff have been overworked for the last six months or a year. Now you hire someone new, and they, your old staff, are exactly where they were six months ago or a year ago. Now with the additional responsibility of training a new hire. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. If you hire an experienced person, you will need to train them on how you do things. This often creates conflict between the old staff and the new hire. The new hire will not like having their skill level questioned, and the old staff will not like any changes that the new hire brings. You know, all the usual human emotional stuff in reaction to change. Just normal, human behavior. If you hired the greenhorn, you will, with good reason, face even more hurdles. For a wide range of reasons, you may be forced to hire an inexperienced worker, and you may even be better off doing so. Still, let's face it, the less an individual knows, the more that you and or your staff will have to teach them. So what is the answer to managing the problems of training in the new hire? Forty-two. There is no answer to this problem. You will, as always, do the best you can, and in time, things will settle as they almost always do. But please, let me give you a few no-cost tips that will help you with hiring and training too. And how do I know that these tips work? Well, we followed them where I worked in a mid-sized independent optometry, and we had crazy low turnover at two different locations. Some free tips for success when hiring someone new. And again, this works, so I would encourage you to try it out. 1A, involve your staff. Okay? Ask them what they need. You've decided you're going to bite the bullet and hire someone else. Well, talk to your staff, listen to your staff. You might be surprised about what they think that the store needs versus what you do. You may think that you absolutely positively need another optician. They may tell you what they really need is a receptionist who can cross train and do the dispensing from four to six when the other optician is working as a tech for you. Something like that. Yes, these folks work for you. Never forget that that new hire works with them. So get them involved really will help you out. Explain why you're hiring someone new. No one's job is in jeopardy. You just admitted they're overworked. 
You wouldn't hire someone new if you didn't have enough work for that employee, which means that your other staff has been doing that for the last six months or a year, little overwork. Well, you know, you understand that. You're doing them a favor. You're hiring someone new because you recognize what they've been doing. When it is time to write the ad for that new hire, well, involve your staff. Let the staff help you write the ad. Set those job expectations. Like I said, maybe it's a combo deal, reception, dispensing optician kind of thing. Set those job expectations so everybody knows what to expect when that new hire comes in. You run the ad and you have a person who looks pretty good on paper. Have them come in, do a shadow day. Have them just stand in the background, chit chat, watch what you do. Do half a day. At the bare minimum, do a lunch. Close the doors for 45 minutes. Do a meet and greet with as much staff as possible. This is a multiple spidey sense opportunity on both sides. Your staff may pick up on something in that individual that you might miss. They might know someone who knows that person. Great way to gather more information and make sure they're gonna be a good fit. Wouldn't you have appreciated that when you started your first couple of jobs? It is also a chance and an important chance for that individual to decide if your place is a good fit for them. So try to do those shadow days, half days, or lunches. That person comes in, it's a good shadow day, you're all feeling comfortable, person's interested, it's time to call their references. Well, do the LBJ, the Lyndon Johnson. He said, always keep people talking because sooner or later, they're bound to say something they shouldn't. Put your best talker on the job and call those references. Don't stop at one. If you ask for three, call all three. Put your best talker, your best gatherer of information, probably your best salesperson in your staff. Get them to make those calls. Let them dig, dig, dig. Keep those people talking. And they may learn some very important things. And last in the new hire process, 30, 60, 90 day reviews. The biggest mistake I think made during the hiring process, and everybody starts out with good intentions, but somehow they tend to falter. If you stick by it, put it in your calendar, do them 30, 60, 90 days of reviews. Think of them 30, 60, 90 as the speed for the off ramp if it is needed. Okay, if you're 30 days and things aren't going that great, by the time you get to 90 and you've been through 60, it's pretty easy to say, we talked about this, we talked about this again, we really tried, but you know what? This isn't working out. Much, much easier than if you go for 90 days without saying anything, writing anything down, having a talk, a formal review process, getting to this point and having to say, you know, this isn't working out. So much harder if you haven't done this and this. Well, let me clear the whiteboard and give you a couple of tips for training that new hire. Working on the success of your new hire, in other words, training, opticianworks.com, the complete optician training program, which is just $99 a year and includes the optician qualification standard. The best way to go, have to, but I would strongly encourage you to give it a try. I'm mostly talking about the greenhorn here, somebody who you hired with little or no experience, new to the optical business. It all comes down to incentives. Provide the training opportunities necessary for that person to be successful. Tie those opportunities to their pay. You join the OpticianWorks.com program. If they come to you with the Certificate of Achievement for Course 1 at 30 days, they get a 50 cent raise. They come with the Certificate of Achievement for Course 2 at 60, just about the right amount of time, they get a 50 cent raise. 90, the same. 
Annual, they've worked through the optician qualification standard, a huge achievement. That person will be a really competent, well-trained optician. The annual, they get another dollar. They tie it to pay, make it a stick and carrot. Huge, big red flag pet peeve of mine for training. Find the time, if that means bringing your people in early, having them stay late doing a Saturday or a Sunday when you're closed, you must find that time. Make that time, huge red flag. It, it never fails. Mary is really strong in the lab. She makes a great pair of glasses. She takes a new hire. She heads back into the lab, says, we're gonna take an hour. I'm gonna show the new hire how to run a basic simple vision job on the edger. More than two people walk in the door and Bob's running back in the lab. Mary, I need you on the floor. You gotta come out on the floor. Okay, what a bunch of nonsense. If Bob can't handle two customers at the same time on the floor, well, that's a separate issue that you need to take care of. If Mary had called in sick or was out to lunch, he would have managed. Leave Mary and the new hire alone for that hour of training. Incentivize the time for both the trainee and the trainer. Okay, if your trainer is coming in on a Saturday. Oh, oh, and I almost forgot. Uh... I'm also going to need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too. So they're paying them their normal rate and a half hour of PTO or something. Consider incentives for everyone involved. Friday is Hawaiian shirt day. So, you know, if you want to, go ahead and uh, wear a Hawaiian shirt and jeans. If you are a small optometry or a mid-sized optometry practice independent, everyone working for you should be very aware that the success of the business is also their responsibility. The business isn't doing well, well then they don't have a job. And this is why we teach at Optician Works that opticians are in business, not in healthcare. If the new hire does actually work through the OQS, optician qualification standard, about a year or so. Your staff has been working as the qualifiers, the signatures for that. It's a huge, huge moment. It is time to celebrate. By all means, track, track, track. You've got your 30, your 60, and your 90 day reviews written up. You've got the certificates of achievement. You've got the OQS. They all work to track. It's really hard to set goals and monetary incentives if you don't track and can't prove that these things have taken place. Last thing, and this goes for both the greenhorn, which might surprise you, and the very experienced person as well. Listen when a new hire has a suggestion. Okay, the most dangerous statement in business may be, well, we've always done it that way. People from an outside, people from a different perspective, coming from other places, then they may have amazing strengths in some way. Listen when they make a suggestion about how something might be done better or differently. Follow those, and most important, your business is gonna be successful. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on Facebook, please give us a like. If you're watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And to learn more about the opticianworks.com complete optician training program and our optician qualification standard, head on over to the website. I'll see you again next week.